He talked about finding a box of puppies and nursing them back to health. I found a box of puppies once, and they nursed me back to health. And that was one of the most <laughs> rewarding experiences of my life. Ladies and gentlemen, coming to the stage next, we have the architect himself. Finally, I know we teased him earlier, but now we're going to get our dick sweat. Jake Holmes, everybody! <laughs> Another thing I'll do a different time, so look forward to that. A little taste, a little intro. Yo, things are different now. It was a long winter. Yo, this show is crazy that this happens, that this is just a bunch of people coming together to just talk about random things, rant about problems, talk about Donald Trump. One thing, real quick, before I talk about happy things. Uh, you want to beat Donald Trump? Stop talking about him. Just don't bring him up. The only power he has is the attention you give him. We're done with him! <laughs> this is Davis Page. He is a, uh... It's another person. I want to talk about Jack first, because Jack's a, a great... Where's Jack? Behind Makes you. noise. Oh, yeah! Chai! Jack is my friend. <laughs> he knows everything about what I'm trying to do because I tell him. And he, well, actually, maybe he doesn't, has, hasn't heard any of it. I just talked to him for a long time. He gave me this jacket because he was like, yo, I don't, Jake, I don't want you to have like a mental breakdown into this show. I need you to be as comfortable as possible. And there's no fucking zipper on the jacket. Jack, I'm going to have a mental breakdown. I'm losing my mind out here. Okay, Davis. So I like Jack. You know, you know how there's like the, uh, the white angel on one shoulder, like talking to you and giving you good advice and stuff. And then there's the bad advice. Yo, fuck Davis. <laughs> Seriously. But honestly, not. Because he's great. Yo, I don't know if anyone... I fucking live with Davis, dude. That was supposed to go... Theoretically, it was going to be... It was going to work really well. It didn't, no. It sucks. I don't like it. You, you forced your way in to my own house. Yeah. He, I was like, out. he's like, uh, someone's moving out of my house. And I'm like, can I just move in? He's like, no, no way, no way. And I asked Sam. I was like, Sam, can I move in with you? And he's like, fuck you too. And then I went to the other roommate, Evan, and I was like, hey, Evan. <laughs> I hear that you have an empty room in your house. He's like, <laughs> yeah, what, what, do you want to move in or something? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I do. He's like, no fucking kidding. Yeah, we'll have you moved in tomorrow. That is how to be sneaky. <laughs> and we've lived with each other for like a month now. It's great. Yo, he's got a girlfriend. I should probably address the rest of this, because I started talking about this at a Tempe Late Night episode, and I didn't... Yo, it was fucked up. It was fucked up. It was bad. Yo, I said Davis had a small dick on stage. I said it wrong. It's not that he has a small dick, it's that he believes he's got a small one. And that's not cool, yo. Davis! Your dick is so big! As long as you believe it, you know what I'm saying? 
Yo, but like Monroe is his, is his girlfriend, and I said mean things. I said fucked up things, and like they're still dating, and uh, he lives with me, so she's there sometimes, and it's just <laughs> Monroe coming in. Hey, Jig. <laughs> hey, Monroe. It's a weird relationship because she. I didn't. Me and Davis, we became friends when he was single, and we were lonely together. We were alone in it together. That's right. That's right. And then he found a girl, and I was like, no. I want to be alone with you. Lonely no more. Now I'm alone and lonely. <laughs> and he just brings a female around, and I just see all the positive vibes. He's like, I'm so happy I have this girlfriend. I just want to give her everything. I just want to show her all the things that I can do. He makes her happy as fuck, too. Damn straight. And then I'm just <laughs> sitting there. <laughs> he comes in with her, he's like, yo, we're just going to go to the room. And I'm like, Go. Yeah, I know. I know exactly <laughs> what's happening. I am so satisfied with how this went. Thank you, Colton, for being <laughs> the only audience member <laughs> to really get what just happened. <laughs> Give it up for Jake, everybody.